This question is asking to prove the convolution theorem, to show that convolution in the time domain corresponds to multiplication in the frequency domain. So it's a fairly straightforward proof. You start with this convolution. So say we have two signals, x of t and y of t in the time domain. Their convolution is simply, by definition, the integral of x of tau times y of t minus tau d tau from minus infinity to infinity. And the question is asking for the spectrum of that, so the Fourier transform of that. So we're looking for this in the frequency domain. So we simply apply the definition of the Fourier transform, which is an integration, e minus j omega t dt. So this is what we're this is where we're starting from. We're starting from this. So that is where we're starting. And we want to show that in the end, this is equal to the product of the spectra. So what we want at the end is something that looks like this. X of omega times Y of omega. Because each of these is a spectrum, and this multiplication represents the product. So that's what we're trying to show. So the first thing we can do is to um, rearrange the order of the integrations. So we're allowed to do that. We're allowed to interchange these. these look the same. I'll keep x of tau and y of t minus tau, e of minus j omega t, dt, d tau. Now we can change variable and we can represent t minus tau as some other variable. Let's call it v. So dv equals dt. So that's that. And I can also write t as v plus tau. And that's that. So I can now rewrite this expression like this. We have an integral of x of tau y of v times e to the minus j omega v times e to the minus j omega tau d v d tau. And I can further rearrange this. I can say this is x of tau e to the minus j omega tau d tau times y of v e to the minus j omega v dv. And if you look at each of these, they represent the definition of the Fourier transform. So this is the Fourier transform of x of tau. This is the Fourier transform of y. Let's call it y of t, y of t. So we can represent each of these with um, a spectrum. So x of omega 
multiplied by y of omega. So what we've just shown is that the um, spectrum, that's the spectrum of the convolution, the spectrum of the convolution of two signals in the time domain is equal to the product, that's the product, of the spectra of the two signals, because these are the spectra. So, as you can see, it's not more than five lines to arrive at this, uh, this uh, result. So, there are probably other ways to do it, but this is, I guess, the most straightforward way of doing it. So that's your final answer.